My dear friend, you must be wondering why I'm leaving you a letter like this. It's because... Hey, Gulab, I'm here. How are you feeling today? I gotta tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Huh? What's that you're writing? <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> okay. Anyway, up for a game? You don't have to visit every day, you know. You should be focusing on your work at the Academia. Hey, enough of that. I'll keep visiting until you've fully recovered. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the Academia anyway. Hey, it's your turn. <coughs> Gula, are you okay? <coughs> Garvapitam, you must understand. My Elazar. Hey, don't talk like that. You just... Need some more rest. <sighs> it's because you won't come to terms with the fact that I don't have long left. Guess what? This game we invented is getting pretty popular here in the hospital. Really? That's great news. Yeah. I've even made a device to help people find other players nearby. Here, this one's for you. This way, you'll be able to keep playing even after I- Just stop! You're gonna get better, you hear me? I don't need this thing. I don't want it! I imagine the casket of tomes I gave you is probably gathering dust in a corner somewhere. So, this is my last gift to you. I'm sorry that I could only give it to you now. Do you remember when we first met? You were the only one willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. Now it's my turn to help you make some new friends. This way, I'll always be by your side, my friend. Or do you need to go participate in the Genius Invocation Tournament? Tournament? <laughs> the tournament has already finished. Really? Then how did you do, Sino? I am now the official king of invocations. I used Forbidden Hand at the opportune moment and drew... Uh... <clears throat> I, uh... I can explain it later. Anyway, I have time. But if they turn out to be the thieves we're after, then I'll... Lay down. Huh? Why would she do that? It'd be a signal that we need to lay down the law. Oh! No way! I'm not getting on the ground! That would be way too embarrassing! Think so? Then maybe you can use your tails to pound your back. Oh, uh, and why would she do that? Simple. It'd be signal that she had found the backs we're looking for. This is the first time I've met someone as creative with their words as I am. Have you ever considered a career in writing news headlines, Sino? Oh no, don't enable him! If you see that, then you can come round them up. You're not going to lay down? No, I'm not laying down! I agree, but for the sake of her company's reputation, we'll let her tell us what to do. What? As in, her tails? Yeah, yeah, we get it! For a package? Uh, oh... I'm no good at lying, and I can't keep my tails from moving everywhere! Look! She's getting a signal! But... wait... Uh... Paimon doesn't recognize that signal at all! It... Her tails are moving all over the place! Does she need us to step in or not? Her tails keep moving and intertwining. They keep pointing in different directions. Ah, maybe she's trying to say that she mixed up her directions. These people aren't the intended recipients. Seriously? There's no way anyone could get all that just from her tails. Something's not right.
Boss, she's got backup. What are What are you afraid of? Get him! Huh? Wait, that that Sino, the General Mahamatra. Sino? Evil plans. No matter where you run or where you hide, you will not escape the punishment of lightning. Mm, not so genius thieves behind mysterious treasure chest card back plot finally. Um... Got decked? You get it? Like cards and punching? Yes, that'll work nicely. Ah, these two make quite the team when it comes to words. If that. Are you friends of his? Yeah, you could say that. Hmm, her tails are moving again. Is that what happens whenever she tells a lie? Ah.